Homelessness is surging in California. It's a situation that is often more difficult for the youth. In the U.S., close to a third of all homeless youth are in California. None of them are homeless as a result of anything but being mistreated and abused, neglected by the people or the systems who are supposed to take care of them. What's it, you know, we see it. What, what is going on here? Half of our young people age out of foster care and the other half are usually running away from really abusive situations where tragically the streets are a safer, better option for them than where they were coming from. Think about the stat that of the beds that are available for people experiencing homelessness, 3% are designated for young people. But there is hope. A covenant house is dedicated to helping those 18 to 24 years old who have nowhere else to go. As soon as I walked in, it changed my whole life. One of the reasons we love working with youth is because they still have so much hope and dreams. 92% of young people exit our programs and live independently, permanently. They help me believe in myself and believe that I'm someone. So now any challenge ahead of me, I, can, I feel like I can ace it. These young people, they're, they're amazing. They're beautiful, they're smart, they're intelligent. They are just like you and me. The most courageous, resilient, inspiring people most people have ever met. And that realization that these young people just don't have a support system really wakes people up. We sleep out so young people don't have to, to raise awareness that this is an epidemic in our country and that's just not acceptable. I think when it comes to the community at large, they don't get it. You know, really, unless you've been homeless or you've experienced this, you're, you're not going to fully understand it. You're just not. But, I mean, you can educate yourself. I want to thank everybody for being here. This is our largest sleep out yet. <laughs> Wake up, won't you wake up? Thank you. I think this is my fourth year of sleeping out. We cannot in this country have homeless youth. This is the United States and all of our young people should have opportunity. And I think we all have to lean in on this issue together. It's my first sleep out for Covenant House. Yeah, it won't be the last, but it is my first. It's been extraordinary so far, and it's only just gone midnight. Meeting some of the youth here and some of the alumni has really, really kind of set the scene for me. You know, I always thought, I'm never going to become homeless like that. When I was 10 years old, no matter what was happening at home, it wasn't ever, oh, I see myself homeless with $25 in my bank account. Just to feel even for a little bit of time what a young person must go through, the fear, the sounds, and just the discomfort. When you talk about doing a sleep out, it's not escaping back inside. When you hear the sounds of the street, when you think, but I know I'm safe. What if I was a young person and I was scared for my life and I couldn't sleep because I had to stay awake? Not all of us have a cardboard box or a sleeping bag. Some of us just, all right, I'm in a tank top and some sweats and someone stole my bag and okay, there's a park bench. I can sleep there tonight. I've been a supporter of Covenant House since 1987. The variety of programs that Covenant House has, it's attuned to responsibility. It's not just a free meal. They're going to work within the rules of Covenant House and actually look forward to something in the future. My favorite thing about this event is that literally every dollar goes directly to our young people. And you can't say that about very many events. There's no overhead on this one. Cardboard box and cold pizza. And I love it because you guys aren't trying to be fancy about it. You guys are like, hey guys, this is what we do. This is who we intend this money for. And this is who it's going to. Not a lot of nonprofits are that transparent. It's difficult to go ahead and ask people for money, but the reality is when you're asking somebody to help a charity like this, they feel good. I was really shocked, actually, about the amount of people that were just willing to, to donate. I was frightened by silly things like whether I'd even get to your target, you know, whether I'd make 5000 and I've raised over 6000 which is fantastic. When it comes to if you're afraid of doing something, you need to do it, whether that's by donating or doing a sleep out. I mean, we need you. And that's what I think this place is so amazing. What the Cove does is provide community to these young people, and that allows them to be these incredible, resilient humans. It's impossible to fathom trying to do this every day, and I wouldn't be able to do it. There's something powerful about taking 
just a small, short walk in somebody else's shoes. Each year, more people are sleeping out because they're hearing about it from sleepers. The stories that I can tell about this experience will be stories that will motivate more people to join this in the coming years because it's unlike any other philanthropy night that uh, we've ever been a part of, so it's cool. You should absolutely do this. This is a, a life-changing experience. We're not doing it for ourselves. We're doing it on behalf of our young people. It's easy to be courageous when we're asking on behalf of them.